Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import your podcast into Anchor. Now, for me personally, I have my podcast currently hosted with Pinecast, but as far as this tutorial is concerned, it really doesn't matter who your podcast hosting provider is. The concepts will be generally the same for you as it is for me in this video. So if that's something you're interested in learning, let's get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so in order to import your podcast into Anchor, they have it set up really easy. Um, this is actually the first time I'm doing it, so we're gonna go through it real time, but all you have to do is go to anchor.fm slash slash switch and type in the name of your podcast or paste in your RSS feed. So I haven't tried this yet. Let's see, my podcast is called the 4501 Podcast and it found it, so we don't even have to, oh, I thought I saw it. Yeah, this one, the 4501 Podcast. Um, it was a podcast that my uh, college roommate and I had for a year, over a year, but um, we're not currently recording anymore because he had a son. He gave birth to a son, so he is pretty busy with that. Anyway, um, okay, so let's get started with this import. Uh, it looks like we just have to create our account, so I'm going to make my account right here. And I'm gonna put in our email address and we'll put in a password. And prove that you're not a robot. So this is basically just creating your account and it's gonna be associated with that um, that podcast. And let's see, it says I own or have license rights in this. Yeah, so I do own this podcast. So we'll go ahead and import that podcast into my Anchor account. And it says your episodes and podcast settings are being imported into Anchor. As soon as it's done, you'll be able to consider. Okay, that's great. Um, this is the first step. The other step is to redirect your podcast from your old host to your new host. So for me, it's gonna be from Pinecast to Anchor. So unfortunately, Pinecast doesn't seem like they have an automated way to do this or like a setting in their um, their backend. So I'm on with chat right now with Pinecast and I asked them, exactly what I need to do. Is there a way to redirect my podcast feed from Pinecast to external? He says, I just need your current Pinecast URL and the URL that you'd like to redirect it to. So for me, I'm gonna go into uh, my podcast on Pinecast and get my RSS feed. And I'll go into the chat and give that to the customer service representative. And then he also wants the uh, URL that you like to redirect to. So that's going to be back here in Anchor. I don't see that just yet, but it looks like we're almost done. Here we go. So um, we just have to look here. So right where we're talking about how to redirect. Yes, we know that, but we just need the, uh, there it is, Anchor RSS feed. So we copied that. And we'll give it back to Matt here in Pinecast and see if he can set up that redirect for us. We'll let him um, work on that while we go explore Anchor. And I guess what's gonna happen here, well, first of all, let's see. So it brought in my title of my podcast, my description of my podcast, and my, uh, my logo for the podcast. Let's see, they have a public site. So they, wow, they already brought everything in here. Uh, we started back December 2018 with our podcast, with episode one, and all the way up to episode 51, December 2019. So this is your, uh, this is my public podcast website. So it's anchor.fm slash the 451 podcast. So that's really cool that they set that up for you automatically. Um, what else? They have Facebook links, links to your socials. I guess they brought those in. And it looks like after we redirect our podcast, then we distribute it, which I think would mean um, giving the URL to iTunes, to Spotify, to Pocket Cast, any other podcast platforms that your listeners are going to listen to you on. So that's where we're going to put those links in. And then uh, they have monetization, which is optional, and listeners. So basically, after the redirect, we're going to be done with the import. Um, I'm going to pause the video here until Matt gets back with me, and then we'll check on the status back on Anchor to see what happens next. All right, guys, I'm back, and Matt responded to me from my old podcast hosting provider. He said that he set up the redirect. It should be active within the next 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to just say thank you, Matt. 
and we'll go back over to anchor i'm not sure what's going to happen but we're still looking like the redirect hasn't happened and that's that's a good possibility that it's not going to but i'm going to refresh the page and see if it can detect the redirect and it's not detected yet so i'll pause again 15 minutes i'll come back and see if the redirect has been applied okay guys i'm back yet again and i was checking my email i confirmed my email with anchor and they sent me another email to detect how the redirect process is going and basically down here it says um, confirm the redirect work if you click here to open your old rss feed and we can see that because this link actually takes us to Pinecast, but if we go from Pinecast to Anchor, then we know the redirect has worked. So let's see what happens when we do that and we do end up going to Anchor. And by the way, this is what uh, your podcast feed looks like. It's just um, a bunch of XML, kind of like HTML data with all of your episode information in it. Um, so I think we can go back into Anchor and refresh this page and see what kind of options we have here. And um, while it looks like the redirect is apparently not detected in here, uh, but that's okay um, because we know the redirect is working here. Um, let's see, just to double check, make sure your episodes are appearing on your anchor profile. So we'll click that to see what's going on. And yeah, like we, we have everything coming in here. So that looks good. All 51 episodes plus a trailer. And uh, we can ch test the redirect here yet again, same same link as before. Um, I think it's just a matter of time until we can come back to the dashboard for our podcast and be able to uh, set up those distribution links, like I said, to iTunes, Spotify, Pocket Cast, et cetera. So um, hopefully one last time I'll pause the video, come back and walk you through that process. All right, and I'm back hopefully for the last time here. We're gonna reload this page, see if the redirect has worked and cross our fingers, it has. So right now, um, like I've been alluding to the whole video, we can check out our distribution settings and this is where we're simply going to paste in all of the uh, the public URLs for all of our podcasts. So I was pretty good about this. I was diligent about keeping a spreadsheet with all of my links to the public URL. So for example, for iTunes, um, we can click on my public URL. That's just the, the page of the, the podcast um, on iTunes. So I'm going to come here, copy that from the spreadsheet, put it into the iTunes. Um, do they even have... Is it called Apple? Oh, they already have it in here. Okay. Um, so for the next one, Google, Google Podcasts. I'll copy that. We're done with my old podcast host now. You can put that in here. Uh, where's Spotify? Here's Spotify. I don't think I have any of these Pocket Casts. I think I have Pocket Casts. No, I don't. I should get one of those. Um, but yeah, you can, if you don't have them, you can sign up for them. Breaker, CastBox, Overcast. Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and uh, let's see what it says down here. Your podcast is already available on a few platforms. Easily distribute your podcast to additional platforms. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and um, commit those changes. And one last thing here, it says, before you can distribute your podcast to additional listening platforms, you just need to fill in a few things. So podcast name's good. They brought this in from my old podcast host. It's about places and travel, and the language will be English. So continue. Ready to distribute? Yes, I am. Please distribute. And anything going to happen? Are we good? Uh, we'll save it. Oh, this must be a valid URL. So I got this one wrong. Um, I'm not going to waste time on the video doing that, but we'll go ahead and save this. And uh, that's, that, that's what happened. So we'll hit distribute now. And I think it's it's kind of weird. I don't. I guess it's distributed. Uh, we'll go back to our dashboard and take a look one last time here. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. I think. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. So that it didn't work that last time. So continue. Yes, distribute my podcast. And now that's gone. So I think we're good to go. So we'll go back to the dashboard and hopefully we'll get past that spot. Yes, we are. So monetization, um, I'm not gonna do that right now. If you wanna explore that, feel free. And that's it, we are uh, we are ready to go. We have successfully imported our podcast 
from an external podcasting hosting provider to Anchor. Guys, if you have any questions about that process, something that I didn't cover in this video, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you got some value out of it that helps with YouTube and um, showing this video to other people who may need help as well. So guys, if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.